it's another trip report video and today I'm heading back to Edinburgh from Preston and this time I'm traveling the Trans Pennine Express and fingers crossed on one of their brand new Nova One trains. Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. with Transpennine Express for quite a long time. The last time I was in on a first class ticket, the train was so busy I ended up sitting on the floor for the entire journey. And then it took them six months to refund my ticket. But I got a really good deal today on another first class ticket. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be a much more comfortable journey. Especially, as I said, if it's on one of their brand new trains. Let's wait and see. Preston has a small number of shops, cafes and bars to help you while away the time as you wait for your train. Here's the geeky bit, the Nova One trains are technically known as Class 802s. Here's footage of one I took at Edinburgh Waverley the day before. And in the same shot, you can see the equivalent Class 800 from LNER, the Azuma. As our ride for the day arrived, I realised I was in for a disappointment. This wasn't a Nova One train. In fact, it wasn't even branded as Transpennine Express. It's a small first class section with two by one seating, The seat was actually quite comfortable and spacious. There's a power socket for laptops and mobiles and this rather ambient lamp. And we were served light refreshments throughout the journey. The Lavazza coffee was actually pretty good and a stem ginger biscuit to go with it. I logged on to the Wi-Fi but it didn't work for the whole journey. So I just enjoyed the coffee, watched the world go by, and buried my head in a good book. Of course I'm disappointed that this isn't one of the super duper new Nova One trains, but this isn't even a Transpennine Express train. They must have subbed it in from another company, from London North East. We picked up a delay en route and so it was already starting to get dark as we approached Edinburgh Waverley Station. So what's the verdict? Well, to be honest, if you're traveling long distance, I would try to go for Avanti West Coast or LNER on the East Coast, because to be honest, Trans Pennine Express is not up to the job. As a first class service, a coffee and a biscuit on a three hour journey is just not a good enough service. Maybe their Nova One trains are much, much better. Maybe the service on the Nova One trains is much, much better. I'll have to wait and see for the next time. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, yes, I know.